I am Raphael. You may refer to me as Raf. During my years of studying, I've always been smart and keen. I left many people, including teachers, in awe because of my skills. It's not usual to see someone like me, who has such intellect. For example, River, my classmate. Same age, same environment, but not smart enough. He's nice, but nothing more. Emotional Unstable Impressionable And worst of all, a faddist. Fads, for me, to be hooked by trends and to submit to foolishness just because most people do it is a peak of idiocy. However, that's not the case for River. Want me to bring you to the clinic? You might have a flu. Boxing gloves. Boxing gloves? You wanna buy a pair? Is it really necessary? We have a piece after break. I should have saved my money. I should have not spent it all on food. I'm not gonna be able to buy a pair anymore. So, people are obsessed with sport equipments now, huh? What? People never stop loving them. What kind of sports have you been playing? Uh, chess? Lame. That's because you don't understand it. I've got to buy the gloves. And I need this. Calm down, man. What makes you think you need it? It's not even advisable to buy a new pair of gloves. I mean, it's expensive. It's, uh, it, you it don't might... understand it. It's what we should be spending our money on. Don't you think you should buy something that would make your experience in sports better? Not really. Well, I'd do anything for a pair of gloves. Anything? Anything. Hearing what he said, I just had the perfect idea in my mind. It was coincidental that my eldest brother was a former boxer. His equipment was expensive and rarely seen, but he doesn't need it anymore. And it was also coincidental that I have always wanted something that River has. Well, he doesn't exactly have it, but at least he's got his rights with it. I'm referring to The way you whisper in my ear Make my troubles disappear Uh, River? Yeah? Are you in love with Reina? Well, I think she's cool, but I don't think I'd consider it love. Do you have any commitments with her? Well, no, but we see each other quite often. Why do you ask? Does she have anyone she's interested with? I, I don't know. So without you, she's actually free? I guess so. Why are you asking? Nothing. Nothing. Let's go, we're going to be late. Here. Are you serious? Yeah, I managed to get the bottom of my hands. I'm on I'm honored. For you? <clears throat> Reina. Reina? You want Reina? Exactly. No way! Well, if you don't want it, it's your choice. Imagine this is what you've been dreaming of. Oh well, it's your choice. It's, so to it's totally up to you. You know what? I'm not really in love with Reina. I'm not into getting serious or anything with her. Uh huh. Well, it's been all fun, all the lo laughing and all the stuff. So, have you made up your mind? Sure. So, it's a deal then? Yes. This is too hard. 
I never thought that she would be that bad. I need to teach her how to think. Hey, let's hang out. Yeah. Uh, to think of it, you never went with us, Raf. Well, I'm sorry guys, but I have a lot of things to do and right now I'm about to meet someone, so I gotta go. Uh -huh. uh, okay, bye. bye, bro. So, how was the project you are talking about? It's good. How about yours? Well, I haven't finished mine yet. Yeah. Mm, what time is it? It's like 1.30. I'm sorry, but I need to do something. Oh, that's so sad. See you tomorrow, Rain. Okay. Bye. Bye. Take care. Reina! Hey, Reina! Yes? Reina, can we talk? About what? Let's talk about logic. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Well, logic is the science of thinking. Oh. Well, to further understand, you must first know what are the logical errors or what commonly known as fallacies. That sounds cool. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the fallacy of accident. Let's get down to business. So the fallacy of accident occurs when a general rule is applied to a certain situation even if it should be an exception. For example, jogging is a good exercise, therefore everyone must do it. True, it's great to get those legs running. No, Reina, it's a fallacy. You know, jogging is a good exercise is not a suitable generalization. I mean, how about the people who cannot walk? Instead, we should say that jogging is a good exercise for most of the people. Because if not, then you will commit a fallacy of accident. Got it? Not really. But this is cool. Are there more? Please do Okay, more. so next one. Let's talk about the fallacy of hasty generalization. So, Reina, I want you to listen to this example. So, Lovely has a makeup. You have a makeup. Therefore, everyone around this campus has makeup. Really? Everybody has them? Once again, Reina, it's a fallacy. I generalized too quickly just basing on some few instances to support my conclusion. Oh, okay. So the next one is post hoc. So Reina, I want you to concentrate and analyze the exa this example. So let us not buy our favorite canteen food with Darrell. Because every time we look for it with him, it's always out of stock. Oh, he's just like my little brother. Every time we go out to buy ice cream, they were always out of cream. Again, Reina, it's a fallacy. Your brother isn't the reason why there is no stock of cream. He has no connection with the stock. You are already committing a post talk if you are blaming your little brother. All right, all right. I'll stop blaming him. I'm sorry. I guess you're mad. No, don't worry. I'm not mad. So, come on, let's go on to the next fallacy. So, let's try inconsistency. Yes, let's try. So, this is the example. A car salesperson says, you should not buy from the other car salesperson because he will say anything for you to buy from them. Well, what if it's true? But he is also a car salesperson. Oh, I don't get it. Of course you can, because if the premise contradicts, then the argument cannot happen. The car salesperson, he is also a car salesperson, therefore, he will say anything to you for you to buy from him. Got it? Care to share some more? I think that's enough for today. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. So how's it going with Reina? You know? It's totally tough. I'll just take it easy on her. Yes, man. Sure I will. So our first fallacy for today is called appeal to pity. Yes. Okay, so this is an example, okay? So a student has failed in one of his subjects. He then approaches his teacher to ask for adjustments. He comes from a, uh, he told the teacher that he comes from a poor family, he was the only one studying, and also he is the only hope of their household. Oh, that's so sad. I know, Reina, but there isn't really any argument present there. I mean, 
he did not give the teacher a pro- he did not give the teacher a proper reason to adjust his grade. He just appealed to the sympathy of the teacher. Understand? Yes. What a poor boy. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the next fallacy is called false analogy. So in this in this, in this example, um, teachers are guided with lesson plans when they discuss. So why can students take the reviewers when they take their exams? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Reina, the argument is faulty. Teachers are not discussing to test their learning. Students are taking their exams because they have to. The situations of students and teachers are really different because you can, that's why you can't really make an analogy with them. But still, it is a great idea. Okay, <sighs> for the last time. Okay, so the next one is attacking the person. Ooh, that sounds brutal. Okay, so two teachers are debating whether to ban phone on schools or not. And one teacher says, Hey, you, you are against it because you are poor and you can afford it. Now, Reina, I want you to think. What do you think is wrong with the situation? Hmm, that's not right. That's totally not right. They should debate about the phone ban, but the other teacher attacked the other teacher's life instead. That's, that's, that's right, Reina. Really? Yes, you are. The argument is not correct because the teacher has used the other teacher's living standard as a basis of winning their debate. I'm so proud of you, Reina. Hey, stop it. You see, it's not really hard. You just have to evaluate and concentrate. And now you will know your logical errors. Come on, let's review. So, Reina, we won't be talking about fallacies anymore. Ow, that's so sad. But, Reina, given that we've gotten along pretty well these past few days, we can say that we are compatible with each other. Uh, I'm sorry, mister, but I don't think so. Excuse me? You can't just get away and use that to conclude. That's hasty generalization. But those words are enough. I mean, you don't have to listen to the whole song to know that it fits your taste. First of all, I am not a song. I am a woman. That's false analogy, sir. But I love you, Reina. You're everything to me. So please be with me, because if you don't, I do not know what will I do. I mean, I will be the saddest person in this world. You are appealing to my sympathy. Well, I certainly know your logical error. You mustn't use it frequently because this fallacies only exist in the field of study. And you know, not everything that we learn, uh, we use it in real life situations. No, that is accident. Uh, will you be or will you not be my girlfriend? No, I won't. But why? Because I promised River that I will be his girlfriend. But, but River doesn't have the same knowledge as me. I mean, look at him. He's careless, he's overjoyed. That's he, de he depends on trend, not on his brain. He's stupid, Reina. Wake up! And now you're attacking the person. Don't you dare shout at me. That might be a fallacy. Ugh, whatever. Oh, wait, Reina. Let's evaluate this. I mean, why would you choose River over me? I mean, I'm smart, brilliant, and I have a great future ahead of me. While River, I mean, look at him. He's careless. He doesn't care about things as much as we do. So just give me one valid reason of why would you choose River over me. Fine then, because he boxes. And just that, the woman I turned into the woman of my dreams was gone. Puede pan Mayakap ka naman kahit saglit Kahit kaano pa to kapilit Para mabawas
Ang sakit 